Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Thompson House. We're going to be doing an educational game. We can already tell you, this is one of the most survivor side of maps in Dead by Daylight. I'm going to go to the middle of the map as per usual and work on the generator to the left. I've got to keep in mind that we're reversing a hillbilly here and he's going to be moving at 230% movement speed as well. So now that we're going to go a little bit further to the left-hand side and look all the way near the swinging cows. We can hear the heartbeat. I really don't want to see him right now and he's already seen me in the corner. I'm going to have to sidestep really hard to the right here and hopefully he doesn't... Oh, he did see it as well. I'm not going to give him this. I refuse to give it to him so early. I hope he's going to go through the pallet. That's good. That's going to allow me to utilize a window and take an M1 in the back. If I don't go to the right-hand side, this is going to be really good for me. He's going to leave that. That was a smart play for him based on the fact he didn't have ruin. I went through the pallet so I could make the fast fall on this as well if I needed to, but I didn't need to do that, so that is okay. So we're going to work on the generator in the middle of the cornfield. i got to keep in mind this guy's going to be moving at 230% movement speed as well with no add-ons at his chainsaw. I know that he's not going to be running Doom of Death and Graving Faith on the fact that I did currently see him go through there, and uh, that's going to help me out a hell of a lot based on the fact that I know he's not going to be moving too quick. That generator's done. Two people on It's going to take 45 seconds to be done. He knew that leaving that chase was probably the right idea based on the fact that there would have been three other healthy teammates working on generators, and we've got one in the middle of the cornfield right now being worked that I can the heartbeat that is ruin as well as we can currently see we're going to go all the way back to this jungle gym that he doesn't want to loop us at which is two we can see his uh his saw up in the air too so we know he's over here all right back to the generator going to keep working on it i can see jane's coming over now too jane looking absolutely like a snack that is fantastic got the guy all the way over there to the right hand side we can see he's going to be looped by laurie right now he's going to rev, rev a saw for a bit of a bait and then go for an m1 but he took the m1 instead actually let's see what he does break the pallet will he chase laurie or will he split up didn't see a lot of blood come out of laurie therefore there will be no sloppy butcher i had to sidestep in case he was coming over to me he didn't get up the stairs now he's going to hear the generator and come over here oh bad play by the billy should be able to hear that we're within 10 meters of him that's two generators done already. I'm going to go to the generator on my right-hand side. Like I'm going to say, I'm going to keep the pressure in the center of the board based on the fact that there are going to be no uh, pallets or no windows, nothing to utilize against this loop on this guy. He is on the Thompson map, and it's absolutely horrible. He got one down for the price of two jennies, and that that girl had all the pallets to work with in the world, so it just shows you how strong survivors are now that Ruin has been nerfed into the ground. He's going to be running Ruin, most likely barbecue up alongside Pop Goes the Weasel with either Enduring or something else to speed up the game. I don't think he's going to have Enduring based on the fact he didn't run that loop with me, eat the pallet, and then go away. Uh, but I don't think he has Thrilling Tremor either, which is a big mistake. I'm a big fan of Thrilling alongside Infectious Fright on my Hillbilly. Goes well with Pop Goes the Weasel and you got a utility perk that you can fill up with Corrupt Intervention or Ruin if you wanted as well. I think that is probably the best build you can do for the Billy. And we can hear that he's coming going around the board and it's a chain spore. Hasn't actually seen him. Haven't actually heard a heartbeat. I'm going to keep pounding away on the generator, forcing him to come over here. And I'm going to run him all the way down to the red box. That was a really good play by him. That's probably modern abuse. It's a good thing I look around while I'm working on a generator. He went for the sorry, he missed it. Look at it, his play. I'm going to keep going for distance and spacing. I'm going to try and take him as far and far away. As you can see, he saw me go then, but now he's to make, make a decision between coming for me on the corner of the board where he does have a generator as well. I think he's drunk. No, he's good. All right, so he's still got his rod up, which is fine. He's up on top of the hill. I'm not even going to worry about it too much. He can see me all the way in the distance here. Let's see what he does with the chainsaw. I'm going to sidestep to the right-hand side, see what he does. Didn't do anything towards me. That's fine. I'm going to go all the way back up here. He hit a wall. My genie's regressing too, but I can see the killer is currently doing nothing as well. So that really helps as well. No point in tapping the generator because it's just going to regress anyways. Right, he's going to the right-hand side. Jenny's a little bit low, below halfway. It's going to take about 45 seconds for me to be able to do this. He got the grab off on the other guy. Now, he might be able to DS him. Why else would he get at our locker like that? Didn't DS him. That's really good for the killer. That's going to get him from value on Pop. He's lost his ruin too. So he's going to have Pop barbecue. He can kick my Jenny and go for the proxy camp to secure that girl. That'll probably be his most likely play to be able to get a uh, a win out on that. Watch him for his twist around a corner. There it is. Went straight down there, meaning he probably saw somebody on barbecue and chili. I actually have a daily to get five unhooks or I would continue to work on that generator. I get a hook save my teammates five times. I see the chest as well. I'll be going in for that too, depending on where this guy places himself. I'm checking I got the window to the right. I need to make sure I got the paladin through there, and I can't actually see it from the angle I'm at right now. I try to turn my camera to get a cheeky pixel, but I can't actually... There you go. There's my pixel. I can see that the pallet's still standing over there too, so I can use that jungle gym if I need to. He's going to be breaking a totem, which is a dull. Might have inner strength. I don't know. Got to make it. I might actually hand that off to him. Going to work on the generator in the middle of the map. Based on the fact I'm surrounded by jungle gyms as well. I'm going to drop this down here so this guy can actually heal himself. He's got to make it already. No, 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 no. Give me. Give, 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 give. Thank you, darling. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm going to jump back right back onto my generator. Don't know where the killer is right now. We know that he came through here originally. It was a really good spin from him with his sword. But we are going to be paying attention a little bit more. I don't actually know if he has modern abuse. It was just an educated guess. Now, we know he's got barbecue. We know he's probably got pop alongside his ruin. So his final perk is a substitute to change. I'm not sure what it is. Generator's going to get done. We've got the red barn, which is a powerhouse, Jenny. I'm going to go down here to my right-hand side based on the fact that there is, doesn't look to be a door past the red barn. If the... The red barn. The shack. I'm sorry, guys. I'm on a completely different map in my head. This crow's going to take 20 seconds to respawn as well. Now that I set that off. We already got two people on here, too. I'm taking the really safe spot, which is good. She's going to be breaking another totem. I think she's a little bit afraid of nowhere. Can make a vault on the window. He doesn't have a faster chainsaw as far as I've seen. He's still looking at about the, what, 2.3 second, 2.4 second default as opposed to Leatherface's 
Jenny's gonna get done. She's already started to make her way towards an exit. Can't hear the heartbeat. You're gonna be able to break that totem in time. That's unfortunate. If it was Noed, then we kind of made a little bit of a misplay. But as you guys can see how powerful survivors are, especially when a survivor gets a really good map, this Billy had no choice. He left me at the start of the game, which was a correct play based on how strong the jungle gym was that I had. But there wasn't really much he could do about it as well. He's put in a really sticky situation where there were multiple different people are working on multiple different generators. And he couldn't get the pressure throughout the board based on the fact he's not moving it, he's only moving at 230% moving speed and he doesn't have access to anything to enhance his chainsaw rev or get throughout the board. Now, we could have waited for the other guy, which would have been the right of play, but it looks like my teammate wants to open the door and leave. Let's see how these guys end. I'm going to let him hit with a quick saw at the end, give him a couple more blood points. going to give these guys a little bit of time to run for the exit as well. Got a bit of a body block. Didn't get it. Unfortunate for the Billy. Got a couple of hits with the saw at the end. Like always, guys. Rank 1 game, as you guys can see, and we're going to come in with a GG well played. Bit of a hard game for the Billy. One of the hardest maps, one of the most survivor sided maps, and it just shows you that how powerful you can currently be when you play a survivor based on the fact that Ruin did get a little bit of a rework. If you guys are watching this one over at YouTube, don't hesitate to come with a follow on the live streams that happen here at Twitch, or you can hit that sub button for more content if you enjoyed this. My name is Funkus, and I am an educational dead by daylight killer man. I do stream DVD five days a week over live at Twitch. You guys can pop in and say g'day there to the beautiful people with Twitch chat and uh, say g'day to me if you guys want to learn builds, guides, tips, strats, or if you guys think you can pass some information that's going to help other people better players, you're more than welcome to. Thank you for the watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See you in the fog.